Hey, my name is Fernando, and I'm a technical marketing manager here at GitLab. Today I'm going to go over compliance management and how it can meet your organization's compliance needs. The cost of non-compliance is very high. It can cause revenue loss, business disruptions, fines, and more. Compliance management helps teams apply common controls to improve compliance and reduce risks. With the credential inventory, administrators have an insight into the credentials being used and by which users. Audits on access can be performed by using the status of personal access tokens and SSH keys. The compliance dashboard provides an overview of merge request activity. It allows maintainers and the security team to see the changes performed on different code bases, useful for tracking developer activity. The list of all merge requests can also be downloaded as well. Compliance controls can block certain actions from being taken on a merge request. An administrator can set merge request approvals based on the compliance framework of a project. Compliance frameworks can be set on a project by applying a compliance label to the project. Then there's audit events which allows GitLab owners and administrators to track important events such as who changed permissions on a group or project, added a new user, and much more. They can also be seen at the group and project levels. For more information on the events tracked, see the links in the description. Thanks for watching. For more information on compliance management and its direction, see the links in the description. Be sure to subscribe. Here at GitLab, everyone can contribute.